One, two, three. Anchor. Hello, thank you for joining me on this Positive Thursday, the Funny Side of Life, episode 26, the laughing edition. That is going to be today's Positive Thursday topic, everyone. stumble over their words or repeat the same thing more than one time and not realize it. Has that ever happened to y'all before? I know it has, especially when drinking. You skip words, right? <laughs> All right, I have a question. I'm going to get serious, everyone. I have a question to ask each one of you listeners. What is your favorite simple dish to cook and eat? And what do y'all think is the top simple foods that people are making at home during this coronavirus epidemic? Can of, a can of soup like chicken noodle soup, tomato soup that tastes let that takes less than five minutes to make, and for you parents that have kids, that have kids, soup and sandwiches you can't go wrong when you make when you make that for our kids. Do y'all remember having soup and sandwiches for dinner growing up? I know I did. I remember growing up and my mom she used to make it when she didn't feel like cooking. She used to make it for me and my sisters, and it used to be mm mm good. La la we. I have a list of 12 simple breakfast dishes to make at home for y'all, for each one of you that y'all can make at home and eat or either buy. When y'all buy, you know how when you buy stuff off the market and you can make it at home fast or even cook it up really fast if you don't feel like cooking, but you cook it anyway. So now since like a lot of people are home or have some simple breakfast things that each one of you can make. The first one I have is the Thomason Raisin Bagels. Pop it in the toaster for like one second. Boom! All done. Put some butter on there, some cream cheese on there, whatever you prefer. But to be honest with y'all, I love me some cream cheese on my bagel. And if you want to get very creative with the Thomason Raisin Bagel, why not use it to make some French toast? It is so good and low in calories. You can find the Thomas Raisin Bagel at any market near you. And it's and, and if it's if it's any bread left. <laughs> Because people have been buying the bread like crazy. And speaking of the Thomas Raisin Bagels, then th- excuse me, everyone. Speaking of the thin Thomas Raisin Bagels, everyone, I usually make my French toast out of that. That's why I'm recommending to y'all. Not because I make it, but it's something different, um, you know, that, that y'all would like. Y'all can try because I love to share recipes. And after this podcast, I would love for y'all to send me a message on this podcast or email me and give me so tell me about some of y'all simple recipes, breakfast, recipe, uh, breakfast, breakfast recipes that y'all like and lunch and dinner. I would love that. I'm open to, to that. Very open. Okay, moving forward, everyone. So how's the weather where each one of you at? Is it warm? Is it cold? Um, here in Philly, the weather been kind of like tricky a little bit. You know, today it was windy and it rained. It's like unpredictable. But, you know, we're in the month of April. So, in April, the weather is like, it can be crazy. I don't know how the weather, where y'all at. Is it sunny? Is it warm? Is it snowing? (laughs) I mean, how's the weather? And speaking of weather... And speaking of weather, everyone, Easter is coming up this Sunday, and I know a lot of uh, churches um, are closed. I know people usually go to church on Sunday. Um, do y'all have any Easter plans? Like, do y'all plan on making, like, a, a dinner for your family? Because I know a lot of people, they get together for Easter, and they have, like, family gatherings. I know that's what I used to do with my family, but now, since my kids are older, like my daughter, she's already out the house. She lives in a different state. But I usually just cook. I'm going to cook something anyway, and I'm off of work. So, um, I want to know, what are y'all cooking good? What simple meals are y'all making for y'all Easter dinner for those who celebrate Easter or just going to be cooking just for the hell of it. So anyway, who want to have a drink with me today? I'm not talking about a regular drink. I'm talking about the good stuff. Some apple E&J with light ice. Now that's living the vegan life right there. Do I have any listeners who's vegan? Are some people who are not, or who are not, and they just can't give up the cow? Moo! <laughs> Living the vegan life can be so much fun. Because, let me tell you, let me tell you one reason why living the vegan life can be so much fun. It gives you, it gives your skin a nice glow that can make you look like a human sun. Like, for example, if you walk into a dark room, you don't, you won't even have to turn the light on. 
because your skin will be growing, glowing so beautiful and pretty. And number two, you have more energy. It could be like the road runner. It's time for our first annual vegan and non-vegan race. There's two teams. The first team is a non-vegan team. We have Mr. Beef on the first team, team one. We have Miss Chicken, Mr. Pork Chop, and Mrs. Lamb on the, vine, the non-vegan team, which is team one. We have team two, which is the vegan team. We have broccoli. We have carrot. We have Miss Sweet Potato, and we have Veggie Burger. The first team that gets to the finish line will win a $500 gift card. Let's go! Broccoli is taking off fast, and Mr. Porkchop is right behind him. This race is close. Miss Chicken is running beside her teammate, Mr. Porkchop. Everybody is close to the race line on both teams. And Mr. Veggie Burger speeds past everyone so fast, he was jumping and not even run and running. And he wins the $500 gift card for Team 2, which is the vegan team. Woo-hoo! This Positive Thursday is brought to you by Zoe Flower Healthy Food on the Go. Check out Zoe Flower Healthy Food on the Go every Wednesday at Zoe Flower YouTube page. To listen to the full episode of this podcast, Positive Thursday, The Funny Side of Life, episode 26, The Funny Edition, go to Zoe Flower Anchor FM.